What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl VGC Showdown Live. Why is my face cam on? I just haven't shown my face on the channel beyond like stream highlights in a while, so I thought I'd record a face cam video, I thought maybe you guys would appreciate it. Uh, so I guess today's comment question of the day is, do you want me to keep face cam on? Do you feel... Do you feel like it helps me connect to you when I ask you, please leave a like and subscribe? Are you more likely to take it seriously now that you have to look at me and like my puppy dog eyes and say no? Anyways, today I wanted to talk about Lapras. So basically, um, Lapras is a really interesting Pokemon for a couple of reasons. It's an ice type, but it's probably one of the more viable ice types strictly because of how bulky it is. Now, that sounds kind of strange, right? Because typically when you think of bulky ice types, uh, the first thing to come to mind should be, okay, that was a mistake. Why does Regice exist? Why does Avalug exist? They're so mediocre. Why can't we just get like glass cannons like as ice types? Because those are the most effective ones. But Lapras sort of breaks that mold because of its half water typing and the fact that it has 130 HP with good defenses in both stats and a lot of utility moves. So I thought that it would have a pretty decent niche as a rain counter because it does have access to freeze dry, which can one shot both of the main rain Pokemon being Ludicolo and Pelipper, as well as other Pokemon in the format like uh, Garchomp. Basically, freeze dry is a really important tool that if more Pokemon get access to or if more ice types are viable, um, it'd be really solid. So I figured we would just do a testing session today. I haven't played a single game with this team, uh, but I just built it. And if we get a lot of wins, so be it. If we get a lot of losses, it's whatever. But let's do our best. Let me talk about the team right here. So basically, we have Leftovers Lapras with Shell Armor, Freeze Dry, Protect, Perish Song, Hydro Pump, 28 HP, 220 Defense, 124 Special Attack, 132 Special Defense with our Careful Nature, and 4 Speed. Uh, basically, this thing is going to be 5 hit KO'd by Modest Max Special Attack Togekiss because Shell Armor prevents crits altogether, so that's actually really nice. On the physical side, we can take a plus 2 Bullet Punch pretty comfortably from Adamant, Life Orb, Scizor, uh, making it easier for this thing to just kind of get chip damage wherever it needs to with, you know, Hydro Pump and Freeze Dry. And we also have Parasong here as just a alternative win condition. Considering how bulky this team is, um, I think that's actually not a bad idea. Next up, we have a pretty standard uh, Inner Focus Light Clay Raikou, Volt Switch, Snarl, Reflect, Light Screen. We have a pretty standard Lumberry Scizor, Swords Dance, Bullet Punch, X Scissor Protect. We have our bulky Scope Lens Togekiss, um, 180 Timid Speed. Uh, we got, you know, just enough bulk to take a non-life or Bullet Punch from Adamant Scizor. And we have a pretty interesting Arcanine. Uh, this Arcanine's running a very bulky spread with 220 HP, 148 speed. I don't have anything put into defenses, funny enough, uh, and that's because I'm actually a little bit offensive on this guy. I'm gonna be clicking Flare Blitz a lot of the time. I'm gonna be clicking Willows to support the team as well as Intimidate to, you know, to just get attack drops. But I have close combat here, and that's actually something I teched on because we already have Snarl on the Raikou as well as dual screens, and while Snarl on Arcanine could be really nice, uh, this team doesn't quite like the um, Tyranitar matchup, and given the Tyranitar is just running like max HP, uh, this guarantees our close combat KOs it with 140 attack. And finally, we just have a Soul Dew Latios with Draco Meteor, Tailwind, Protect, and or er, Psychic and Ice Beam. But yeah, like I said, I haven't played a single game with this team. <laughs> We're gonna see how well we can do. What's our ranking? We're 13 12 right now, so let's see if we can get some wins. Uh, but yeah, once again, if you guys enjoy, leave a like, and let's get into it. Battle Festival doubles with a Lapras team. As I get a text message. Okay. Don't worry, it's just my girlfriend. She's like, hey, I landed. She's actually visiting me um, soon because she's been at grad school and it's winter break, so she has time to come visit. Uh, but this is interesting. Uh, we see a wheezing double abuser team with, you know, three other Pokemon who actually care about their abilities, and that's kind of interesting. Um, I think what I can do here is get off my screens, which is gonna be really nice uh, versus this whole team. And if I get a single Will-O-Wisp off against, like, anything, they're going to hate that. So I'm going to lead off Arcan and Raikou. Uh, the Lapras in the back actually seems really nice because we can one-shot that Gyarados if we really need to. And also just the Parish Song is going to be really useful. And I think my last Pokemon, um, I'm going to go Scizor. Like, nothing on this team actually takes hits from Scizor. As they go with Weezing, Slacking, like I said, I should be able to get off a Reflect here as long as it's not, like, Choice Scarf. And then I can, if I can connect this Will-O-Wisp and they're not Facade, I'm in a pretty good spot. I really hope they're not facade. <laughs> That'd be really bad. 
I suppose they could also protect and go for a taunt, which wouldn't be the best, but I still am not in a bad position, uh, considering I have, you know, the ability to volt switch out on this thing with low special defense, and uh, probably can stay with the close combat after that. Let me hit that, let me hit that nasty timer. Get him on his toes, make him think, hmm, what am I going to do? How, how am I going to beat this guy? Oh no, the timer's on. Now I'm under pressure. I got a haircut recently. I think the reason I haven't been showing my face in videos recently is because, uh, you know, during the pandemic, I actually put on a lot of weight and I just barely tanked that. Thank you. Don't miss. Don't miss. He's life orb. Don't miss. And we miss. Okay. Yikes. That's, <laughs> that's really bad. Uh, I put on a lot of weight during the pandemic, but I'm losing it again. And I also, you know, groom myself. Finally, I have like, you know, a haircut and such. Uh, I'm going to Volt Switch out here, and I'm going to go into my Scizor and Protect. Uh, that was actually probably the worst thing that could have happened. Had I landed that will o -Wisp, we would have been in a pretty good spot. Granted, they don't have Facade, but for all I know, they do have Facade. And the reason I'm going into Scizor here is because with, re with a Reflect Up, it should tank it pretty well. Um, and I should be able to go for a Swords Dance here on the Weezing, uh, which will... is it? Oh yeah, that actually takes a lot of damage there. Yeah. So here they're probably going to want to... I, I'm going to say here they're probably going to want to go for like a Will-O-Wisp on me, but that's fine. Because um, I like don't get KO'd by that. Uh, and on the off chance they're running Flamethrower, that wouldn't be great. <laughs> but I'm going to try to Flare Blitz this Weezing. As they go for a Body Slam, or hopefully they're not Flamethrower. Please be Will-O-Wisp. Okay, they're flamethrower. That's not great, but we still have Volt Switch damage we can go for. Um, and this Weezing might be in range of Hydro Pump. I kind of have to go for this. Dang, this is not <laughs> this is not the great uh, the greatest first game, but it's it's kind of whatever, you know. I, honestly, once the Weezing goes down, I could see Lapras maybe being able to take on the rest of the team. And if I can crit this Volt Switch, that'd be great. Don't quite get it. They go for that. Um, interesting. Can I connect? Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. If they have, like, <laughs> if their last two Pokemon are Regigigas and Gyarados, I actually have a good chance of winning. As it turns out, it's Obama Snow Gyarados. Um, if this Obama Snow doesn't have grass moves, I win, but if it does, it's going to be kind of close. I'm going to freeze dry this thing. It does have a grass move, and it's faster than me, which is kind of annoying because that actually takes some speed investment, if I recall. I get the freeze. That actually takes some speed investment. Because what's what's your minimum speed? What is Obama Snow's minimum speed? Is this thing like a max speed Obama Snow? Oh no. it's Well, it does have speed investment because I'm running four speed. Alright, I guess I just go for the freeze dry crit and I lose. Okay, GG. GG right there. So, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Let's try again. Um, yeah, had I connected that Will-O-Wisp, I think I would have just straight up won, but it's whatever. Here we see a very, I don't like Arcanine team. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. Uh, as well as Raikou. Raikou Arcanine, once again, is really nice here. Uh, Lapras is kind of eh, in my opinion, but it's probably going to do better here than like Latios would. So I'm going to bring Lapras regardless. And honestly, if I can get rid of that Arcanine like early in the game, uh, my scissor goes crazy. So it's like the exact same team as last time, but you know, maybe this time we'll connect our Will-O-Wisp. <laughs> All right. Hit that timer, hit him with the GLHF. All right. And like I said, you know, I can't, or I guess I didn't say it, but like I thought in my head while I was explaining something else, apparently I can't get flinched here. Um, so what I can do is go for a Reflect. And I don't have Snarl, which is a bit unfortunate. But I can get a Light Screen off next turn. Uh, and that actually makes Scissor pretty nice. So I'm going to go for this. Or not a Snarl, but a uh, Light... Yeah, I guess I already... <laughs> I don't know why I like, I'm forgetting what I say. I'm just stupid. I'm just stupid. Uh, there's the Choice Scarf. Honestly, not the end of the world. Um... I mean, I don't have this up for too long, but I should be able to... I'm going to protect here and go into my Arcanine. Because I think he might just CC my Scizor. Or go for a knockoff or something. So they Volt Switch, that's great. 
Yep, there it is. So here, uh, I should be able to... I'm going to go into my Raikou. I'm not going to set up on this thing. And... Assuming they're just going to Volt Switch out into their own Arcanine. Kind of wish I had like... <laughs> what if Arcanine got a pivoting move? It'd be busted. But what, what kind of... What kind of idiot at Game Freak would make a fire type with Intimidate in a pivoting move. Who would do that? Alright. I mean, they're definitely just going to Volt Switch out into their Arcanine here. Uh, but I don't want to take the Volt Switch and the Scizor. I could go into Lapras here and Sword Stance up and that wouldn't be the end of the world. Nah, I don't. I think I just go for the KO on Hariyama. So they go into their Arcanine on that slot. Okay. And they go for a trick. I get my Light Clam Arcanine and they get a Figgy Berry. I'm gonna go to Lapras here and I'm gonna go into my Raikou. That should be fine. I mean, Lapras easily tanks this hit. And if I can get this light screen off, it's actually not a terrible end game. Probably gonna be Hariyama here. Cresselia, actually, I don't mind that. Um. They have very few Pokemon that can switch in on a Hydro Pump. But I would ass I would assume the Ronin Wash actually comes in here. So I kind of want to go for the Freeze Dry. And I am going to get my Light Screen off because it does make my job a little bit easier as they actually just, you know, stay in. They go for a Calm Mind. I should be able to Snarl here. Like, I mean, like, Cresselia isn't that big of an issue. I'm going to go into my Arcanine here. Actually, maybe I just go Scizor. Because I really wish I could have snarled that thing, but I can't. Alright, that's fine. Still my Lum. Connect that. Let's see if they have a berry. They most certainly do have a berry. And I'm going to take this opportunity to go back into my Arcanine. And I'm actually going to perish here. And the reason I'm going to do it early is because I actually don't want Cresselia to set up. Because if it sets up too much, it actually might be an issue in the endgame. So if by going for it uh, a little bit early here, I actually put a little bit of pressure on the field. Yeah, there we go. That could have been really bad. Um, Arcanine probably going to switch out here. It really doesn't do anything. So I kind of want to Flare Blitz and freeze dry for damage. Yeah, I at least get the Rotom. So I went with a very middle ground play there. That actually was a decent amount. All right, no special attack drop, please. Okay, that was good damage. And we get the freeze, that's actually huge. I mean, I could do you a favor, bud, and thaw you. Could do you a big favor and thaw you right now. Uh, but I think I'm just gonna stay in. And I'm gonna go into my Raikou because it allows me to Volt Switch next turn. I don't perish until, you know, a couple of, <laughs> until like two turns from now, so. As they do wake up, they do go for a trick, and I get a Figgy Berry, which I'm not going to complain about, to be honest, because I still KO you. And now, this Cresselia has to switch 100% so I can make a very safe play um, and just attack into that thing. I definitely want my, my Reflect. I'm going to go into my Arcanine here and go for this Reflect, since they should be switching out into their thing. Yeah, and then the Pear Song is going to come in clutch at the end, I guarantee you, because as soon as this Arcanine goes down, I pretty much win. So I'm going to CC into it next turn as they CC themselves. And I can now go for a, actually it might be within Volt Switch range. I definitely can't afford to lose this guy yet. <laughs> I can't afford to lose my Lapras actually. So maybe I actually deal with the Hariyama first. Flare Blitz and geez, this is actually really tough. I'm going to go in my Scissor. Hopefully I don't get freaking flare blitz tier. All right, get a burn. They will wisp me. Uh, that's fine. I'm going to CC their Arcanine. And I think here that should be safe. And I just give them my scissor. Because I just have to like target down the, the Hariyama in the end game and I should win. So I'm going to do this. Uh, obviously, they're just going to Flare Blitz me. 
It's actually flamethrower, which I'm fine with. This gives me more opportunities to target down this Hariyama. I'm gonna go hard into Raikou here. And suppose I just double bullet punch. All right, that's fine, because I still have bullet punch. Yeah, it's really just a matter of taking out this guy. I'm gonna go into my Arcanine, get the Intimidate. I'm gonna go for my bullet punch. I still have my Reflect for one more turn, so Scizor should, should like never drop here, barring a crit. I learned my lesson after the end of the last video, where I'm like, oh, yeah, I should never drop here, and then I get crit and die. All right, Arcanine eats that. Um, and I think I always just double target here because they shouldn't be able to KO my Arcanine and Flare Blitz plus Bullet Punch should do it unless they like detect or I guess, I guess it's safer just to double protect here in case they go for a protect themselves but I don't really see it happening maybe, maybe they do because they could go for the KO then and I think that actually makes sense on their end to try to KO one of my Pokemon looks like they didn't Alright, um, this is getting a little bit too close for comfort, but I think I still just do the same play. Yeah. Live? Not quite, not quite. Alright. Now, I do have Protect. <laughs> I do have Protect on my, on my Lapras. But I think he should be anticipating that. Do I, I mean, we're low ladder, right? I have to lock myself in the Volt Switch regardless. Uh, I'm going to anticipate him wanting to kill my Lapras. I don't quite get it. But... I should win in the end because I have my Figgy Berry. I'm going to freeze dry this Hariyama. Hopefully I'm faster. I should be. Yeah, he's faster. So if I perish Song, he would have to Trick Room to win. And if I can bait him into <laughs> attacking enough. Actually, no. That was probably dumb. No, I just freeze dry. The reason I'm doing this is... I, I mean, I guess the reason was a misplay. But if I freeze dry here, I just win. I did get confused, unfortunately, because I have a Figgy Berry. Uh, that full confusion was actually really bad. Okay, uh, I have to go for the double protect. The burn should KO. It literally comes down to this. Alright, 30% chance to win. Confusion ended. I fail. Alright, GG's. Okay, so that one I got a little bit unlucky, but I did kind of misplay at the end by cooking Parish Song. I should have just freeze dried twice. All right. I still stand by the fact that Lapras is actually probably pretty good. I'm just playing pretty bad right now. Um, let me think. I mean, they only have a, like two Pokemon that beat Lapras. Being close combat on this Infernape and like Energy Ball on this Roserade. Uh, beyond that, Lapras actually like walls a, <laughs> like everything on this team, so uh, I guess I have to play around that. With that considered, an Arcanine lead looks really good. Arcanine Raikou, uh, Lapras in the back. And do I want to bring... I still haven't brought either Togekiss or Scizor, but I think that's honestly like because they're just not good right now. Um, Suicune typically doesn't run... Uh, protect so I should be able to go for this play of a will-o-wisp into mamoswine plus a volt switch guess I could have gone for a reflect there uh, but now I have scissor which threatens this thing quite a bit as they're just gonna tailwind yeah I'm gonna go into my lapras and I'm gonna BP if they go Roserade that's fine they still take a decent amount 
over half, in fact. And here, I can just go for freeze dry plus bullet punch pretty safely. No burn, so that's pretty nice. Um, out comes the Togekiss. I think I'm going to double this Suicune, because uh, I guarantee a KO then, and then the rest of the team just drops to Lapras itself, so I'm going to double. I don't really see them going for the... <laughs> I don't really see them going for, like, um, a follow me here, which, of course, they didn't. They can't freeze me because I'm Ice-type. This will KO, and now they're in a pretty rough spot because I can literally just do this. Go into Arcanine, click my Parish Song, click my Protect, and then I switch out my Lapras. Go into Raikou. Suppose I Will-O-Wisp. For fun. <laughs> they're also not oblivious, which is interesting. They should definitely be oblivious. I guess they're thick fat. Uh, but now I protect with my Arcanine. Go for a Snarl. And I simply win by protecting. GG. That's nice. I mean, we got a pretty good Lapras game there. Nice. Okay, we got one. Um. Ooh, actually, Lapras kind of goes crazy here. I have to get rid of the Hariyama mainly, and then the rest of the team actually doesn't like Lapras that much, since uh, Special Defense of Lapras should hardwall Heatran in theory. Uh, so I think what I can do here is actually lead off Lapras Raikou, bring Arcanine in the back. And I think here, uh, Scizor isn't that great. I could make a case for Togekiss. And I think that actually does make sense. The only thing to be kind of concerned about is Parasect. I don't have a Lumberry now, uh, so I don't have as many things to switch in on on Spore. Okay, but yeah. Uh, the rest of the team really doesn't like Lapras. As they go Heatran, Cresselia. Uh, I'm actually just going to go ahead and Hydro Pump. And I'm more concerned with Hariyama than anything. So I am going to reflect this turn. Because I think Hariyama could come in here. I'm not really scared of Heatran's damage output at all, really. Let me hit him with the GLA, Chef. I have not done that yet. Are they going to Trick Room? Okay, yeah, um, that's still fine. Because I have my Reflect up. And my switch should go second if Cresselia switches out into Hariyama. So I can go into Arcanine pretty safely. And still click my Hydro Pump. So they go Parasect. And they Calm Mind up. Uh, duh, 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 duh. I'm going to go for a freeze dry here and I'm going to go for the flare blitz because they really have to go for the sleep on my Arcanine. Absolutely. And freeze dry should be a two at KO. I didn't expect the Parasect already, to be honest. Uh, that tells me they probably have Hariyama in the back though. All right, there it is. Psychic. Alright, nice. That actually does quite a bit of damage. They are running Citrus Berry, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, here I go for my Protect, and I should always Flare Blitz and hope that I wake up. I already burned a turn, so there's a decent chance I get the wake up. And if they switch out, then I'm not in a terrible spot. You know, for a minute I can I considered running Life Dew on my Lapras, but I thought Protect would just be a lot better, and it, it, so far it has been. All right, now I hope I don't wake up. <laughs> now I really hope I don't wake up. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go for my Parish Song here. And I am going to Close Combat to get chip damage. All right, that gets me into Berry Range, which is really nice. Don't wake up. Honestly, pretty fine. Uh, I still go for my Freeze Dry here. And I am faster. Honestly, I'm pretty content with giving up my Paris or with giving up my 
uh, Arcanine if I can trade for something on that side of the field. So Free Share plus Close Combat should always KO this Parasect. Um, and that will allow me to also catch the Heat Train with the Close Combat if they decide to switch out. So I'm going to do that. Hopefully I wake up this turn. If not, it's like, okay, whatever. But I would really prefer to wake up this turn. They're thinking, they're like, man, what do I do? What, what do I do in this little situation? Please uh, give me your Parasect. That's what you do. Please. I suppose they could always protect Trick Room. Um, oh, I wake up. Cool. Close combat. And now that should do enough for Freeze Dry. Nice. So I get rid of that. They go for the Trick Room, which is fine. Still have two more turns. And there's the Hariyama, and that is also my cue to <laughs> protect and get in the kiss. I do have some reflect turns here, so that's nice. Hopefully they don't ice beam my uh <laughs> my Arcanine. There's the CC. They go for the Psychic. That's actually great. I'm going to go into my Arcanine here, and I should be able to Deagleen. And they have to stay in with Hariyama, and they have to switch Cresselia. It's not worth the trade to take my Togekiss, because then their team's really weak to everything else. So Cresselia is going to switch here for Heatran, and unless the Hariyama has Wide Guard or Protect, uh, this Deagleen should be doing a ton. I could Air Slash to be safer, but I think Deagleam's fine because they're taking uh, Chip from this. You go for Knock Off. I'm going to lose my Scope Lens, but that's still fine. Decent damage all around. Get that. I'm going to Protect here. And I'm going to Protect here. I definitely want to keep my Togekiss. Just the consistent damage output's like super important. So I go into that. I can Close Combat the Heatran pretty safely. I'm going to go into my Raikou. Um... Because it should eat, like, everything. Unless they, like, Earth Power plus Psychic my uh, Arcanine, I should be fine. And even then, Raikou, in the end, is just, like, really, really nice. Just to get in. Basically, I'm just saving Tokus. See what they go for. Uh, I'm assuming they're just going to Flash Cannon here. They go for the Earth Power. That's fine, because I still get my CC off on the Heatran. And now they're in quite a bit of trouble, actually. Because if I get a Reflect off, everything, everything just becomes difficult for them. I'm going to go in my Lapras, um, and I'm going to get this Reflect off. Yeah. My play here is going to be Hydro Pump the Heatran, and I'm going to attempt a Light Screen. But I'm likely going to lose my Raikou. And if I don't, it's like, whatever. Yeah, Hariyama's within range of this. And if I get my Parasong off when Hariyama hits the field, I'm actually not in a bad spot. I also don't want to go into Arcanine yet. Um, okay, I connect. I win. I pretty much just win with that. Because I go into this guy. I always uh, protect and perish here. Because they should be dealing with the Arcanine. And that allows me to get my Lapras off the field next turn. Granted, they don't crit me. And then I should always be able to win because I hardwall both of these Pokemon. Yeah, I think Lapras could be really solid in the metagame. I went 2-2 two and two this video, and I guess I'm speaking a little bit too soon because I could get crit and lose. Um, but I went 2-2 two and two in this video. But you could see like how Lapras was putting in work pretty much every single game. Yeah, there's the Earth Power, which means I win. And now I go into my... I protect here, and I actually go into Togekiss. And then I win. 
because they can't KO my Tokus next turn and then Lapras gets off the field. I also just smack my microphone, <laughs> which is, you know, that's not great for the recording, but whatever. They're really thinking, but I think they're thinking that they lost, which I think they think that they did. I think, you know. Victory chug. It's water. Water's great for you, by the way. You should really drink water. Stay hydrated. All right, here we go. As that secures their loss, really. Because now I go into Arcanine Necklace Protect. GG. Well played. Nice. I actually, I really want to experiment with this team going down the road. I think I can optimize it a bit more. Um, but for now, if you guys want the info for the team, obviously it's going to be in my Discord as always. And everyone perishes this next turn, so I can protect. I can follow me. Actually, I'm going to do my classic, I'm going to air slash to the side play. <laughs> my classic attack the Lapras play. Look, I'm on your side. I'm trying to win. I'm trying to get you to win too. But yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be it for this video. In conclusion, uh, I you know I didn't get <laughs> I didn't get too lucky this uh, this video. Uh, I missed that initial Will O Wisp against the slacking, uh, and I also got fully confused by the Figgy Berry and hit myself when I could have won by clicking Freeze Strike twice, which I, I did misplay though. I did misplay at the end of that game by going for Parish Song because uh, I for some reason thought that they would have actually outpaced me at recovery, but it seems they didn't. Uh, but overall, you know, Lapras is, I think, pretty good and can be explored further by more players, and I'll certainly be looking into it more. But if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn, uh, check out my Patreon, turn on notifications, check out my Discord, do all that, the usual stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.